CS3D Imaging using the Implant Library Recorded Class. This recorded class is designed for clinical team members and provides instruction on using the Implant Library in CS3D Imaging. By the end of this class, you should be able to add an implant manufacturer, update implant manufacturers, remove an implant manufacturer, create a custom implant, create a custom library, import or export a custom library, and select Favorites. CS3D Imaging provides a library of virtual implants for use on the Curve Slicing tab. You can add and remove manufacturers and import and export custom implant libraries. When updates are available, a blue dot update icon appears in the CS3D Imaging main toolbar. To update the implant library, verify that the computer is connected to the internet. Click the update icon here. The implant library update window appears. The options are to add an implant manufacturer, update the implant manufacturers, remove an implant manufacturer, and export or import a custom implant library. Note, to use a custom library, the user must create their own implants. Manufacturers' implants cannot be exported to a custom library. Add Implant Manufacturer. Select Add Implant Manufacturer and click Next. A list of available implant libraries not currently installed on your computer is displayed. All manufacturers are selected by default. Deselect the manufacturers you do not want to download and click Next. Click Hide if you want to perform the implant update in the background while you carry on working. Click OK to finish or Previous to return to the Options menu. Update Implant Manufacturers. Select Update Implant Manufacturers and click Next. A list of implant libraries available to update is displayed. Deselect the manufacturers you do not want to download and click Next. Click Hide if you want to perform the implant update in the background while you carry on working. When the update is complete, Click OK to finish or Previous to return to the Options menu. Remove Implant Manufacturer. Select Remove Implant Manufacturer and click Next. A list of the installed implant libraries is displayed. Select the manufacturers you want to remove from the computer and click Next. When the action is complete, Click OK to finish or Previous to return to the Options menu. Create a custom implant. To create an implant, select here to display the implant library. The implant library window appears, showing the list of available implants and their details. In the implant library window, Click Create Your Own Implant. The Implant Library window displays fields for configuring an implant. Specify the manufacturer, brand, reference, length, apical diameter, and diameter. Then use the head, body, and color picker to configure the shape and color of the new implant. Click OK. The new implant is added to the implant library. Create a custom library. Create a custom library to transfer implants you have created to additional CS3D imaging workstations. After you have created your implants, export the custom library zip file. Then you can import the library zip file to other CS3D imaging workstations.
import or export a custom library. You can only export implants you have created. You cannot export manufacturer's implants. The exported library will be saved in zip file format. Open the implant library update window. Select Export Custom Library and click Next. Click Browse and select the folder in which you want to export the zip file and enter a name for the zip file. Click Next. The file is exported. Click OK to finish or Previous to return to the Options menu. To import a custom library, select Import Custom Library and click Next. Click Browse and select the folder with the custom library zip file to import. Click Next. The file is imported. Click OK to finish or Previous to return to the Options menu. Select Favorites. In the Implant Library Management drop-down, select Favorites. In the Add Favorites window, select Favorite Implants. When finished, click OK. Favorites are indicated by a star in the Implant Library. This concludes CS3D Imaging using the Implant Library Recorded Class.